Assalamu alaikum my dear students. How are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIEBS Home School. I am Ashish Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School, Morning Ship. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. My dear student, our today's topic is chapter 1, exercise 1. In our previous two classes, we have already discussed about the basic discussion of this chapter. Now, we shall solve exercise 1. From exercise 1, we shall solve question number 1. From 1, we shall solve 8 and 9. From 2, we shall solve question number 6. From 3, we shall solve question number 9. And a odd problem, question number 5 will be also solved in our class. My dear student, as two classes held before for this reason the number of this class is 3 okay. okay so this is our lecture number 3 of half yearly exam and my dear student let us start our class i hope you have got this book so open this book page number 6 my dear student open this book page number 6 okay i have already written this question on the board i have already written this question on the board so question number one eight number and nine number so at first we solve question number eight here four thousand seven multiply by eight hundred nine we have already solve such type of math in our previous classes so first of all we write here so 4007 multiply by 809 so first of all we multiply this 4007 by this 9 so 7 9 jar 63 from 63 we write 3 and 6 is carrying now 9 0 just 0 plus 6 it will be 6. So, 6 is written here. After that, we multiply 0 with 9. So, 9 zeros are 0. Now, we multiply 9 with 4 and 9 4 are 36. Here I write 36. So, once place digit is done. Now, we shall solve this. Now, we shall multiply this 4007 by 0. So, 0 7 are 0, 0 0 are 0, 0 0 are 0 and 0 4 are also 0. So, on place, change place, both are done. So, I write here on 0, 2, 0. So, now we multiply 4007 by this 8. 8, 7 jar, 56. From 56, I write here 6 and carrying 5. 8, 0, jar, 0 and 5, 5. 8, 0, jar, 0 and 8, 4, jar, 32. Now, I add 3 is written here. 6 then 6 then 1 then 4 then 2 then 3 okay okay i repeat this question again 9 7 jar 63 carrying 6 this 6 is written here after that 9 0 is 0. 9 4 jar 36. Okay. So, on place down 0 is here. After that, we multiply 4007 by 0 and we get 4 0. Next, we multiply this 4007 by 8. 8 7 jar. 8 7 jar 56. From 56, we write here 6. After that, 8 0 jar 0 and 5 is added with 0 and it will be 5. Now, 8, 0, 0, 0 is here and 8, 4, 32. Now, I add 3, 0, 0, 3, 6 here, 6 here, 6, 5, 11, 3 and uh, carrying on 4, 2 here, 3 here. So, 32,41,663 will be the answer of this question. Here I write 32,41,663. 63. My dear student, if you don't write answer, then some marks is deducted from your answer script. So, you must write answer when we have already solved a math. Next, we shall solve question number 9.
question number 9 here 7 0 1 0 multiply by 1 4 0 so 7010 is multiply by 140 I hope you have understood so first we multiply this 710 by 0 and we get 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 7 is also 0 once place done so I write here 0 so now we multiply this 7010 by 4 4 0 are 0 4 1 are 4 4 0 are 0 4 7 are 28 so tens place is also done now I write to 0 here now I multiply this 7010 by 1 and we get 100 0 1 0 0 and 7 on this 7 so 0 0 4 1 8 9 okay so 9 lakh 81400 is the answer of this question so 9 lakh 81400 okay i hope you have understood so question number 1 is done next we shall solve question number 2 from 2 we shall solve question number 6 here 2 and 6 is the sub number so 6000 multiply by 900 here 6000 multiply by 900 now notice i write this way 900 so my dear student first of all i separate this zero from these two digits six and nine so now we multiply this six with nine six nines are 54 now i count how many zeros are there one two three four five so one two three four five okay now i give comma so 54 lakh will be the answer of this question okay i hope you have understood next we shall solve question number three okay in order to solve question number three we shall erase question number two my dear student here we use easy process here we use easy process so question number three and sub number is nine the question is 1100 multiply by 900 so first of all we write this 1100 in this way 1000 plus 100 multiplied with 900 now we multiply this 1000 by 900 okay 1000 by 900 this plus sign is here after that we multiply this 100 with 900 so now we multiply 9 on the 9 now we count how many zeros are there 1 2 3 4 5 so i write here 5 0 then 9 on the 9 count how many zeros 1 2 3 4 this 4 0 is written here now i add 4 0 here also 4 0 so first i write 4 0 okay 9 0 9 and 9 is placed here so 9 lakh 90,000 is the answer of this question. Okay, I hope you have understood. Okay, our last one, this is odd problem. So, first of all, we read this problem. Villagers have decided to raise money to reconstruct the village road. If ease of 324 households in the village donate 250 taka how much taka will there be all together that that means a village a village which has 324 households i repeat a village which has 324 households they have decided that they raise money to reconstruct the village road and each household each household donate 250 taka 
So, in all together how much taka will be collected? So, how can we solve this question? Notice one household donate 324 taka. So, 250 uh, sorry 100 household donate 250 taka. So, 324 household donate how much taka? It is more. For this reasons multiplication will be happen. My dear students, I repeat if you want to solve a odd problem at first you make a plan how to solve that problem if you make a plan then it is easier for you to solve i repeat if you want to solve a math at first you make a plan how to solve this math if you can make a plan then it is easier for you to solve so it is very very important to making plan before starting to solve a odd problem so first of all one household donates 1 household donates 250 taka. Next, the village says how many households? 324 households. 324 household. As 324 households is third person plural number, for this reasons here I write only donate. Don't, no need to add is with this donate okay now 250 multiplied with 324 taka okay so in this section you write here so 250 multiply by 324 first of all we multiply this 250 by 4 four zeros are 0 4 fives are 20 carrying 2 4 twos are 8 and 2 10 then on space done now next two zeros are zero five twos are ten carrying one two twos are four on five two zero one zero two zero next we multiply this two hundred fifty by three three zeros are zero three fives are fifteen three twos are six one seven now we add zero 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 five on 5, 5, 10, 1, 11. Now 7, 1, 8. So 81,000 taka will be collected. Okay. So this is the answer of this question. Now you write answer 81,000 taka. My dear student, there is a good news for you. There is no SW today, but you must pick up this in your CW copy. Okay, I repeat, you must pick up this in your CW copy. If you have any question, or if you don't understand any portion of this class, you must make a phone call to me. My phone number and messenger ID is given on the board. So, my dear students, I hope you have understood my today's lecture. Keep practicing at home, abide by your parents. See you soon. Till then, Assalamu Alaikum.